Hey, welcome back to another Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host, Jack, and if you're new to the show, welcome aboard. This show is going to be slightly different than our, <clears throat> excuse me, our Photoshop Elements uh, classes. Uh, we've also had some uh, Windows Server classes. But this is going to be a, uh, a tutorial, again, on Windows 7, which I've touched upon a few times. And I just recently received an email. And uh, I'm not going to give you the name here, but I'm going to read you the email about what may happen to you when you're partitioning your hard drives. It says, in one of your tutorials, you show how to split the C drive on the PC. Split, meaning partition. Is there a way I can delete the extra drive or the extra partition? I inadvertently created a Z drive that has many pictures that I don't need and I want to eliminate the Z drive, which he accidentally created. Thank you, sincerely. And then you know who you are. And I will email you uh, right after this, right after I post this video, so then you can see how to do this. Now, here's the problem when you partition a hard drive. And what we mean by partitioning is, if we click the start button and go to my computer, what we talk about <clears throat> is the C drive here and actually splitting the C drive down so you'd have a C, a D, and maybe even an E. Now this is a really good idea, especially if you have, uh, say, a one terabyte hard drive in your computer and you want to split that hard drive up then you may want to partition it down a little bit. Now, why do you do that? I think we've talked and we touched base on this before in some uh, past videos. But we would do this because you want your operating system separate from your data or whatever you're working with. And a lot of times I even do it with my programs. Even though you're going to have to reinstall your programs if you have to reinstall your operating system. So that's totally on you how you want to set that up. But we would use the C drive as your boot drive, or where you would load Windows 7, Windows XP, uh, Windows Vista, whatever you may actually be running on your computer. So you would actually partition that down, and then I usually name the second partition data, just to tell me that that's all my data files. Um, and like I said, sometimes I even put all my program files on that separate drive. Totally up to you, because it, like I said, if you have to reinstall Windows, you have to reinstall all your programs anyway. Now you'll say, Jack, why does this help? What This doesn't make any sense. Well, the reason it makes sense <clears throat> is basically because when we look at a partition, if something happens to your Windows, if Windows gets corrupted, if it gets a virus, you have to reload it. Instead of sitting trying to back up all of your data and you're backing every bit of your data up because you, and you could have hundreds of gigabytes of pictures, movies, uh, audio files, you know, music files, this allows us to keep that separate drive and just reload Windows and all of our data stays intact. It'll be there when you uh, open you know, your new Windows uh, install back up. You just don't want to uh, F-disk the whole drive again or cut the partitions back. I'll just leave it as it is. So the question is on the table, Jack, can I delete that drive? Yeah, you can. Now here's the problem with deleting the drive is you're going to have to delete the whole partition table. So you would delete the partitions. If you're telling me you want to get that drive space back, you're going to have to reinstall Windows and start all over again. Uh, just simply deleting the partition, you can do that. Uh, but I'm going to show you a better way where, and I know you said you inadvertently made a Z, which we don't want it to Z drive. We'd probably want it to D drive. So I'm going to show you in this video on the how to manage the hard drive or manage your disk and be able to change drive letters. That's very important to uh, to be able to do that when you start partitioning and learning more about drives because ordinarily you can see here we have a C drive then we have a D drive which is normally uh, ordinarily your CD-ROM drive and then I also have an E drive which is you know it could be a flash storage drive and then you see here I have a flash drive plugged in for this demonstration so what we want to do is we're going to close this out and go back down to start and this time you're going to right click on my computer and you're going to go to manage And we'll wait for this to come up. Bring us over here. Now, when we manage the computer, we have a lot better uh, look at our tools in here 
uh, shared file folders, event viewer, and different things. We could talk about that later. This is basically about disk management. So under storage, there's disk management. If you click on that, it's going to actually look at all the disks you have in your computer, such as your C drive and your inadvertently made Z drive. Now you can very simply go in here and you can actually delete the partition out of here. You can just right click on it and you'll be able to delete the volume is what it's called. Um, but don't you don't want to delete both volumes. You can to regain everything and reload Windows, but I, I wouldn't suggest that. What I would suggest to do, if you look down here how I told you we have a D drive, a E drive. Let's see if I have any more. Okay, a D drive and an E drive. What I like to do to be able to make that second partition the D, because your hard drive should be C, D, E, whatever you have, F. Uh, sometimes I try not to go above three partitions. It just doesn't make sense. So what you want to do is take your D drive, right click on it, and go to change le drive letter or pass. When you do that, you get this nice little box up. You click on change. And you can simply change that drive letter to whatever you want it to be. Now, before you change the Z to make it D, because both drives cannot have the same drive letter. It just won't work. The computer will say, hey, that's, that's not it. It's not going to happen. So I would go down here first and change that uh, CD-ROM drive. So if you have two drives, you want a C and a D, you would change that to uh, E, but we see we have an E. So you could change it to F. Um, actually, F drive is taken up by the CD-ROM drive, so go to G. All right. So you go to G and you simply click OK. I'm not going to do that because that's going to mess up my partitions. And that will rename that particular drive. The easiest way to do this is you have a C drive, D, E, and F. So the best way to do this is you want it to be C, D, E, and F. Take the F drive first, right click on it, go to change drive letter, and temporarily change that letter to whatever you want to change to. Just change it to a letter far enough off, like P. That will free up the F that you need for this last particular drive. So that is how you would do it. So what I would suggest you would do, instead of deleting that, <clears throat> deleting that volume, I would suggest you simply uh, click on that, uh, change the drive letters around so you can make it the D drive, and then just right click on it, and you can actually format the drive. Format it, that'll clean up all your old pictures, and get that drive back to whatever you partitioned it out to be. So I hope this didn't confuse you. I hope it helped you out a little bit of how to manage your disk volumes in your computer. Again, you, can only have, you may only have one hard drive, but you can partition it out and have more volumes. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial, and if you had, please click on the subscribe button. I'm sure we can come up with great new ideas for more videos, uh, and I'm glad you're sticking around, everybody watching these tutorials. We're almost at that magical number of 5,000 subscribers, which I'm, I'm still pushing for very hard. Um, and also, if you're new here, check out my new channel. It's Jack's Tech Corner. You can go figure, right? This is 42 Techno Man that you're watching right now. Jack's Tech Corner is dealing with Microsoft Office uh, 2010 or 2010. So thanks again for joining us, and I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. I'll see you next time on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.